and a 10 speed, and you put it together. That's why you have the two chips. You don't have to worry about it. It's actually. We'll be fine, T7. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. Have you tested this planet prison safety? You were about to begin field testing when this pointless debate started. Regardless, you've allowed the planet prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Master Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. I won't let you down. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rhodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? It's time I had a talk with this guild. No one talks to those cutthroats. The guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thieves some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. Agent Galen, I believe I found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. I will turn as quickly as possible. Copy that. Galen out. Betray me and you'll regret it. You have no idea the trouble you've caused. So long as everything you've told me is true, we have no further quarrel. I got your files. But the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. Grant, run a full diagnostic. Find out what was in these files. We found our stolen military hardware. Good. We need it. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. Who's responsible for this? No idea. But they're well organized and dangerous. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent Galen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. 
I don't know how long I can hold them. She's in over her head. She needs backup. Tell me where to find her. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. You need to stop the kidnappers before they escape with Dr. Tarnas. Hurry! Just in time. These guys get points for courage, but we're a little outnumbered. There's more than a few trigger-happy thugs in that docking bay. The kidnappers are threatening to kill Dr. Tarnas, but they might be bluffing. I'm not even sure they have him. Bluff or not, the Doctor is in danger. So, how do we handle this? I say we bust in there, weapons drawn, and see what happens. Give me a second to paint a target on my forehead. I borrowed a stealth field generator from Agent Galen's office. Makes me practically invisible. I can sneak in first, then when you attack, I'll take a few thugs by surprise. What do you think? Suits me just fine. Great. Now you see me, now you don't. I'll get into position and attack on your signal. Let's rescue as a doctor. Jedi scum! I'll kill you. Someday. He sure killed my stealth field generator. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Isn't teamwork grand? You handled yourself like a true Jedi, Kira. Wait, I need a hollow of that. I want to play it back for Master Kowix. No sign of Dr. Tarnas. Kinda puts a damper on things. We were the decoys. Now you'll never see your little doctor again. Is that so? Give me a minute with this guy. I'll make him talk. Nothing else? This'll be entertaining. Thanks for the encouragement. Thing is, we don't need him to talk. Not when I can just read his mind. What? Stop that! Get out of my head! Get out! The doctor's in the Black Sun headquarters. Salar has him. Just leave me alone. Sheep thugs will believe anything. I can't read your mind, stupid. You... you tricked me! Smooth, Kira. Very smooth. Black Sun is a major crime syndicate. Whatever they want with Tarnas, we'd better save him quick. Me and my security detail will clean this up. Agent Galen will want to hear about this. Dr. Tarnas is the least of our worries, General. The stolen data files had details, not only on the planet prison, but every weapon prototype and research facility in existence. Our most powerful experimental weapons, and Black Sun has access to them. How could this happen? What does Black Sun stand to gain? They could make a fortune selling secrets to our enemies. We must act quickly to secure these other weapons. Where are they? Three off-world research facilities. Minimal defenses to give them a low profile. They're vulnerable. Master Kiwix and I will split up and protect two. And I'll take the third one. You get the fun part. Rescuing Dr. Tarnas and the copied data files from Black Sun. We'll be back in time for dinner. Kira will stay behind too. With Agent Galen leaving, her computer talents will be needed. She can be impulsive, but give her a chance. You'll make a good team. I hope that turns out to be the case. Kira is a good person. She simply needs strong guidance. We should go. May the Force be with us all. I'll escort you to your ships, my friends. Before I go, I'm putting all my resources at your disposal. 
There's a special tactical unit in Black Sun Territory. Experienced security officers who've been fighting those gangsters for months. Go to these coordinates. Talk to Sergeant Nidaljo. He can help you rescue Dr. Tarnas and get those copied data files. This mission's too important to fail. I'll take all the help I can get. I'll let him know you're coming. Don't underestimate the Black Sun gang. They enjoy killing. And they're good at it. Kira's on our way. I'll get her plugged into our security network before I leave. Good luck. Corporal, get a Colto pack on that man. The rest of you prep for evac. Agent Galen sent me. What's happened? Black Sun. They're not a gang anymore, they're an army. We were securing a perimeter around their base for you. They hit back with military-grade weapons. Killed six of my men. Seven, sir. Joran's gone. We're not equipped for this fight. Not anymore. We can't help you. No need to panic. We'll figure something out. All due respect, you don't have a clue what you're up against. We've been fighting Black Sun for months. Now with new weapons and armor, they're unstoppable. Look at us, we're half dead. And they didn't suffer a single casualty. There's no hope of victory. If you surrender now, your soldiers will have died in vain. Is that what you want? What about the man inside that base waiting to be rescued? You'd abandon him? This is a moment of truth, Sergeant. Do you give up and let evil win, or stand up and fight? I'll go with you, but I won't ask my men to follow. You don't have to. The Jedi's right. We can't let those scum beat us. Count me in. I always wanted to fight alongside a Jedi. You'll need to take down the base's security network so we can get inside. Once the network's down, we'll attack the back entrance. You take the front. We'll rendezvous in the base. Be strong, all of you. I'll see you on the inside. Let's double time it, men. Move, move! Tarnas, we risked everything for you. Stealing those data files, faking your kidnapping. This is how you repay us? You were compensated with enough weapons and armor to make Black Sun invincible. Invincible? There's a Jedi carving up my base! This is your fault. We never should have trusted a Sith. If a Jedi has come for you, Salar, it wasn't my doing. You won't get away with betraying the Republic, Dr. Tarnas. The name is Lord Tarnas. I've shed that old skin. I have no time for this nonsense. Finish a pointless battle. Coruscant's fate is already sealed. Surrender, you scum! We got you surrounded! This is Sergeant Nidaljo. He's here to arrest you. I suggest you let him. Black Sun doesn't surrender! Can't believe it! We just took down Salar. Black Sun won't forget that anytime soon. We lost some good soldiers, but this victory gives their deaths meaning. Your men fought bravely. You should be proud. Thanks for leading this mission. Black Sun will have reinforcements here soon. Any sign of the man you came to rescue? There you are. We intercepted Solar's holocaul to Tarnas. Can't believe he's a Sith. But that's not the worst news. The planet prison prototype here at the lab? A fake. Tarnas stole the real planet prison. Trace that holocaul you intercepted. Use it to locate our Sith's base of operations. Already working on it. We need you back at the Senate Tower. Kira out. Sounds like your work is just starting. We won't hold you up. Goodbye, Jedi. A Sith. Working as my chief scientist. How can I defend the Republic if I can't trust my own people? Tarnas' entire engineering team vanished along with the planet prison. They're all traitors, too. The Sith want us to panic. Don't give in to fear. Tarnas will use the planet prison against Coruscant. He could trap us here forever. Paralyze the Republic by holding us hostage. You're our only hope of stopping that. I'll stop him, General. But I need to know where he is. That's where I come in. I just traced that hollow call we intercepted from the Black Sun base. Tarnas was communicating from down in Sector 439. Justicar territory. Tarnas knows we're not welcome there. Justicars are paramilitary vigilantes. They took over a sector, cut ties with the rest of Coruscant, and they don't like visitors. You called them vigilantes. Explain. 
Many Justicars are ex-Republic military, who came home to find gangsters controlling their neighborhoods. They believe the Republic abandoned Coruscant to crime, so they've taken matters into their own hands. The Justicars are well-trained and armed, but they don't concern me. It's the Sith Lord I'm worried about. You shouldn't face Tarnus alone. I may only be a Padawan, but I can help you. With this much at stake, two Jedi are better than one. Stop Tarnus before he uses the planet prison against us. The fate of the Republic rests on your shoulders, Jedi. May the Force be with you. Huh. Jedi? Think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Tarnus! He's a Sith! I've come to stop him. What happened here? Tarnus tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought Tarnus the prototype. He turned on us. He killed everyone. <laughs> I need to know where Tarnus went. Don't know. But he took the planet prison. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. You'll find Tarnus. Planet prison needs time to build a power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. If the planet prison has been activated, we don't have much time. The temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. If a Sith can get down there, so can we. Let's hope we get down there in one piece. And he didn't. I'm ready. Let's do this. Parting course on now, Father. The planet prison deploys in minutes. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnis? A loose end? For shame. Have you come to die, Jedi? Don't do this, Tarnis. You can still surrender. You'll forgive me if I don't offer you the same opportunity. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. Jedi filth. You have killed my son. She'll pay with her life, my master. I swear it. You have no idea what you've unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I don't fear you. Come find me whenever you like. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. We already control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic. And you will bow down before I let you die. Your grudge is with me alone. There's no need to hurt others. As they die, you will suffer. And I want you to suffer before the end comes. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. We will meet again, Jedi. That is a promise. No one saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. Here she is. 
Hero of Coruscant. Glad to have you back. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnus. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnus was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. Have either of you faced this man before? I don't know him. Darth Angle personally led the forces that sacked Coruscant in the last war. He was furious when the Emperor signed the treaty. Looks like he's back to finish what he started. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angrel's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie, but the Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarnus transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. If we catch him in his lair, we could end this crisis right now. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. Master Orgus senses greatness in you. And so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going to. Master Kowix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not. But I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an O-Fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck. My new master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Glad to have you aboard. Tell me your functions, C2. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender Class Light Corvette. It was custom-built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for the tour, C2. My pleasure, Master. I do have a few final notes. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. 
I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Master Jedi, honored. Flight Commander Jordan, Republic Navy. Afraid there's bad news from open space. The Imperial Armada is attacking Republic assets in secret, goading us into violating the Treaty of Coruscant. Give in to their taunting, and the Republic will have the blood of a galaxy on its hands. Don't worry, Master Jedi. We're taking measures to prevent war. Fleet Admiral Newman has authorized the formation of the Corps of Aegis, an elite attack squadron meant to break the Imperial Offensive swiftly and quietly. If you're interested, I'd say you're more than qualified to join the squadron. I would be honored to fly with the Chorus and Aegis. Excellent, Master Jedi. As a defender of the Republic, your call sign shall be SHIELD. Every member of the Chorus and Aegis will strike independently across the galaxy. I'll upload your mission data to your ship. Silence the Imperial threat, and guard the Republic well. So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, as long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do, and we'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two, what's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. Listen to the starship broadcast frequencies. If the enemy makes a move, I want to know about it. Thrilling work, but I'll take it. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantell. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T-7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarik against myself while you have all the fun. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Atau. Good hunting. Varsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Check out the spaceport while we're gone. If this place is as bad as you say, Darth Angrel may have a presence here. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll poke around and see what's what. Have fun down there. Agent Otao, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantell. <laughs> Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. What have you learned about Darth Angrel's operation here? General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? Disintegration isn't on my to-do list. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angrel's been up to. Be seeing you. Name, Markovic. Rank, Lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. I'm not here for you anyway. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there! Copy every file you can, T7. We need to know what this Desolator weapon can do. You won't live long enough to tell anyone! Get the rest of Darth Angrel's design files for the Desolator weapon. already. That was quick. T7, 
downloaded some of Angrel's communication logs, but the rest were destroyed. Some intel is better than none. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. We make a good team, T7. I get the feeling there's tough times ahead. I'm glad you're up for the challenge. Is there something you need to tell me? I like my crew to be happy. It's always hard to lose someone. If you're looking for a hero, look no further. So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. Who are you? What are you doing here? Imperial Intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. Release my Padawan. It's your only way out of this. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain deaths to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty. Jedi accept responsibility for others. Sith only care about themselves. You're as dull as you are pointless. Let's get this over with. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. I'm glad you're safe, but I need to know what this was all about. Not much to tell. One second I'm watching smugglers haggle over spice, next thing I know the Sith have me. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. You obviously didn't tell him anything useful. What kind of Jedi do you think I am? Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. Looks like Tarnus was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battle cruiser with it. It's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. Darth Angrel already has the other weapons under his control. Agent Galen walked into a trap. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this Desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shadda is vital, but there's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. How can I make an informed choice without information? 
Too many security breaches here. I won't risk the enemy finding out about this. When you reach Terrace or Narshada, contact me. And good luck. General, I've arrived on Narshada. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. Considering what you learned on Ord Mantell, we're probably confronting a worst-case scenario. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The best defense against a Sith is someone like me. Your order was nearly extinct. The Senate feared you might never recover. Nar Shada has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. This is against everything the Republic stands for. I tried to distance us from the corruption. I thought I could keep us clean. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchman on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. If they're alive, I'll save them. But what about the weapons project? Our research can die for all I care. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shada. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. Promenade shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. I feel like a spy already. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Our Sutra out. My skies, a Jedi. Please help us. Innocent people are being slaughtered in the streets. I minister planet with the Republic's diplomatic corps. I was almost killed out there. The Kintan King's gang controls this part of Nar Shada. They're violent and well-armed Nikdos who hate the Republic. The gang attacked me right out on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. That's just plain wrong. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carry Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan King can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. Don't worry. I'll get those security passcodes back. I fear a Jedi is the only one who can resolve this crisis. Recovering our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes, I'm sure of it. Oh, this is disaster, Barish. How can I deal with enemies who don't negotiate? Ya power Golka, Doroni Kuna Wawunda Donko. Minister Planet sent me. I have your stolen security passcodes. I couldn't believe Arlok when he sent word you were coming. You have my gratitude. I'm Ambassador Averdon. This is Barish Fanak Toril, one of the system's most prominent business leaders. Welcome. I was starting to wonder if the Republic was all alone here. Uh, far from it. Barish has been a great friend to the Republic in a dark time. My mission is to establish strong Republic ties on Nar Shaddaa. We need its technological assets to defend ourselves against the Empire. Nar Shaddaa's leaders sold us an entire sector to use as our base of operations. Unfortunately, it's overrun with Kinton King gangsters. Their days are numbered. That's a promise. I should warn you. These are no ordinary criminals. The Kinton Kings want us out of their territory, and they're winning. A Jedi who was helping us was found butchered in the open street. Those gangsters did horrible things to him. 
You're sure it was gangsters who killed the Jedi? Yes and no. Reliable information is scarce. Morgukai are an Icto cult. Jedi hunters trained to resist the Force. I've been trained to deal with Sith, Ambassador. I assume the dead Jedi was too. The gangster's attack on Minister Planet was a diversion. Their true goal was hijacking a Republic military freighter carrying cybernetic combat implants. We don't need Kinton Kings with enhanced speed and strength. When you have the implants, take them to an arms merchant named Nurkulus. He secretly works for Barish. That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. Welcome. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. General Varsuthra speaks highly of you. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Lighting up the darkness is one of my specialties. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top-secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. It's a start. How do I pick up this trail? Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second, I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. The enemy may be trying to flush you out into the open, make you easier to pick off. Running and regrouping is better than waiting to die. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. <laughs> Hot, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, hot, hot.